Hey there and welcome. In this video I'll share a few procedural techniques in Odini, from Vex to the new cops, I hope you can learn something new with this. So as you can see I have these stone holders and the way I'm building them is by using the fine shortest path node. And for that I need groups of points, initially I used the manual selection but since I might change the stone shape I decided to have a more procedural approach. What I need is to select a few points in a circular pattern. For that I found some sample code online by Animatrix that creates points in a circular pattern by using the sample circle function. I just had to adapt to group the near points, also adding a distance parameter to the position. And in the main network I just added another parameter to the Y position so I can have control over the selection. Ok, having these curves I need to create the stone holder mesh. I start by resampling to have 20 points, then selecting the first 8 points of each curve creating an attribute on the points with modulo and the amount of points on each curve and as you can see it will create this pattern along the lines that I can use to connect them. If I add them now by attribute and using the group it will get all over the place due to the point sorting. Luckily there's a lab sort that lets you sort points in a circular pattern which will work great in this example. Again lab sort not the main one. From there I can skin the shape and it will be ready for the next step. Now having both surfaces combined I want to make a VDB out of it so I can blend it with the ring. But the mesh is open and just creating a VDB won't be enough. We actually need to use the topology SDF which will create this shell VDB. Then smooth it out and blend it with the ring. So having a UV mesh I want to create some seamless noises for displacement using cops. And the way you can get seamless noises with cops is by using the rasterize setup set to UVs. And now in the rasterize geo output both the position and alpha layers. The next step is to connect that original position to the noise 3D input position. In this case I am also distorting a bit the initial position layer with another noise. If I connect this to the preview material, you'll get some visible seams. This is easy enough to fix, just use the extrapolate boundaries with that mask we saved from the alpha. And now you should have a seamless noise pattern. So I tried a few approaches to create the stone cuts, but using just a whirly noise in a mountain and a mesh sharpen actually gave me the best results. And yeah, I hope this helps you out and make sure to check out my Patreon where I upload all project files from my videos including this one. Thank you.